<laughs> Welcome to a little slice of my cat from heaven. I'm here at Isabella Geriatric Center. This time around, I'm gonna introduce you to Buzz the Fuzz. Buzz was rescued from a world of chaos. Humane Society and the Sheriff's Office removed 39 German Shepherds and a cat from two homes in Durham yesterday. Living in such horrible conditions, the stench, investigators say, made their eyes water. Now, Buzz the Fuzz is an ambassador for compassion and comfort as a therapy cat. It's an amazing benefit to the humans and to Buzz the Fuzz himself. My name is Sandra and my cat is Buzz the Fuzz. I saw Buzz's picture. He had to be shaved because he was full of mess. He was uh, starving, he was dehydrated. He has a small break in his tail, which is still crooked. There was just something about his eyes. There was a connection. He was my cat. I knew it right away. Hey, Sandra. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good. Good to meet you. Nice Hello, to meet you. this must be Buzz the Fuzz. Yes, it is. A striking looking boy you are. This cat sitting here so serene, so peaceful, yet he came from such horrific conditions. Have you noticed anything in terms of post-traumatic stress? Um, at the second or third day when I got him home, he started crying. And every once in a while, if I leave for work, he still does that, and it'll be for hours on end. You're one of the first stable humans in his life. Separation anxiety, we can only address the way we play into it. So if, for instance, you're leaving the house and you start doing this very set pattern that you would do before you leave the house, he will catch on to that pattern from the time you pick up your car keys. Mix up your morning routine the best you can. So one morning it could be feed him, then shower. The next day it's shower, then feed, mm -hmm. then take out a toy. How long was it after you had Buzz that you were like, you know, I think I want to be a therapy cat? Well, I had a friend pass away from brain cancer and he had a cat visit him while he was in hospice. So I was like, why can't I do that for people? And off I went. I am really psyched to do what we're gonna do now. We're gonna meet some of the residents here, bring him in there, and just watch some faces light up. You ready to go? Absolutely. Hi, Hi everybody. How are you? This is Buzz. Buzz is super chill. He's got the right kind of temperament to be a therapy cat. I got you, Buzz. I got you, Buzz. There was about a week wait from the time that I put in the application for him. And I've been bringing Buzz to nursing homes since about August of 2015. He's been doing great. Look at those pretty eyes. Yeah. That's the spot. I, I swear to God, I'm born poor cat. <laughs> Meeting Buzz and Sandra is just invigorating. To just have that presence of mind to bring him out to the community the way she does is just fantastic. When you bring an animal like Buzz into uh, anyone's world who doesn't get exposure to animals often, all of a sudden blood pressure goes down, pulse rate goes down, and optimism goes up. It is a pride and true formula with therapy animals. It's a really good day. Coming here to Isabella, having Buzz the Fuzz just light up everyone's day here. And I feel really great just to be a small part of bringing that to them. Thanks for spending time with us, okay? Thank All right, you. take care, guys. Adopt shelter cats. Exactly.